Hi. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a small demo about the conductivity of solutions. Now, we all know that water conducts electricity, all right? This is a common thought. You're not supposed to, uh, you're not supposed to take showers or take baths and have like radios plugged in or anything like that. Um, and the off chance that you might electrocute yourself. Well, what I have here is some water. Okay. And I have a conductivity tester. Now, basically this is simply a, a light bulb with two electrodes. And when I connect and complete the circuit, uh, like with this metal right here, the light bulb will go on. So anything, if it can conduct electricity between these uh, two electrodes, then it will in fact be, um, it means that the substance will conduct electricity. So here I have some pure water and I put this in. Hmm, it's still working. Yeah, it's still working. So what we have here is proof that pure water does not in fact conduct electricity. All right, now in order to conduct electricity, you need two things, all right? You need particles that have charges, all right? It's something that is charged and it needs to be mobile, all right? The particles need to be mobile. So if I go ahead and take this pure water, I'm gonna add a solute to it. First of all, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, all right? So I add some sugar in, the sugar dissolves, make sure it gets all good and dissolved. And when I put it in, nothing. Sugar water does not conduct electricity because even though it has particles that are dissolved and can move around, those particles being molecules do not have a charge. However, if I go and I put some, um, some salt in here, voila, it conducts electricity. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so, what if I just use tap water, all right? Well, tap water is not pure water. They put all sorts of good stuff in there as far as uh, ions. They purposely put chloride ions, for example, in our uh, drinking water uh, in order to protect us from any waterborne diseases and so forth. Uh, also, our water is pretty hard, is what it's known as. It comes from a long ways away, it comes from the Sierra Nevadas and also from, uh, Rocky Mountains, and all that distance, it goes over rocks, dissolves some of those rocks, and carries in it a bunch of positive ions as well. So pure water does conduct, excuse me, uh, pure tap water does conduct electricity because it is, in fact, a solution that has charged particles. Those charged particles are known as electrolytes, electrolytes, all right? So again, in order to, uh, not all solutions conduct electricity, they need to have ionic compounds dissolved in them so they can have mobile charged particles. Thank you very much.